This is the Activision plug-and-play TV game system. It was released in 2004 by Jack Specific and features 10 built-in Atari 2600 games. They are Crackpots, Atlantis, Pitfall, Grand Prix, River Raid, Tennis, Spider Fighter, Ice Hockey, Boxing, and Freeway. The unit itself, it looks really nice. It's really detailed. It looks really retro. It looks really nice. Take a look at it. Ooh, nice. It features two buttons, the action buttons anyways. There's this one on top and this one right here. You really, honestly, you're probably not gonna be using this one right here because it's really hard to control and hit this button at the same time. This button though, it feels really nice. It, it's got a little groove in there for your finger. It's real easy to hit while you're playing. The stick, I don't like this stick. The stick feels flimsy. I always feel like I'm gonna break it every time I use it. And it squeaks, I don't know. That Maybe it's just my unit individually, but it squeaks and just feels really flimsy altogether. The, f the front of it has a reset button which does what you think it does, it resets the game. Select, selects the difficulty of the game, and start, starts the game. And you got your on and off right here. On the bottom, you got your battery cover. It takes four AA batteries. And the unit itself, I found this one for $2.99 at a thrift store. They're really not that rare, and you can probably find one for under $5. Let's check out some gameplay. I guess this was first released in 2001 by Toy Max, which got bought out by Jack Pacific. Um, here's the main screen where you got your games. We'll start with Crackpots. Now one thing I like about this one that the other ones don't have, the other plug and plays, is that this one has instructions, and a lot of times you need those instructions to play the games. Especially for people like me that did not grow up with an Atari. But I guess the point of this game is to throw the pots on the on the spiders. It gets boring pretty fast. The main guy looks pretty dang scared of those spiders. I would be too because I hate spiders. It's hard. And I'm pretty terrible at this. Ah. Oh. <laughs> and that's enough of that. Atlantis. This is this like missile command, I guess? Controls are terrible. To push the joystick in whatever direction you want to shoot, which turret or whatever you want to shoot. She used the middle one. It's really not much point. What the hell was that? And they get faster. That's enough of that. Pitfall. This game is legendary. Oh. Oh, get off the dang thing. Oh. I suck. Grand Prix. Giant cars. Alright.
Ooh, this gets boring fast. All right, that's enough of that one. River Raid. Now this one's pretty good, actually. Oh, whoops. I guess you fly over these fuel things to refuel your ship. Or your plane. Kind of reminds me of Spy Hunter. And that's enough of that one. Tennis. Never wait for a tennis court again. Why would you when you got this? Oh. It's too hard. First time I've ever scored a point on that game. Spider Fighter. I probably should have read the instructions for this one. Whoa, what the hell is that? Really, can't really tell what I'm supposed to be doing. at the top. Huh. Well, on to the next one. Oops. Ice hockey. Welcome to the high speed world of ice hockey. Ooh, this looks good. Start. This game is terrible. Boxing. Now I've seen this one before. Hmm. I can't take much more of this. And finally, Freeway, which, if I remember correctly, is a really boring version of Frogger. Yeah, you can only go up and down. And if you get hit, you just go back a little bit. You don't get flattened here. Yay. Maybe this is one of the games where you'd want to amp up the difficulty a little bit. Because this is bad. I'm just holding the stick up. <laughs> oh, finally got hit. And that's about it. Thanks for watching, guys.